Hey guys, Nick again. Uh, welcome to uh, this episode of uh, the video teaching you another technique on how to change behaviours. So <clears throat> this one's very uh, orientated around Christmas, so you may want to watch this video now or use it in the new year if you want to give anything up. Um, basically it's a technique from um, the field of NLP called the compulsion blowout technique. And it's based upon the premise, uh, you may have heard stories like this when um, <clears throat> Years ago when um, kids used to smoke, sometimes that their parents, um, <clears throat> back in the day, I'm not making any moral judgments on this, I'm just telling you what happened, is sometimes the, the dads may give the, the child a whole packet of cigarettes to smoke. I know it happened to um, a couple of my friends, and the idea is that they, they smoke the cigarettes so much it makes them sick of the actual um, cigarettes. <clears throat> so in, in much the same way, uh, for this one, I want you to identify um, something that you eat or drink that you wish to uh, you wish to give up and generally what we do is um, <clears throat> when we get to a point there's a kind of um, uh, there's a point where we reach um, so much of, of, of eating or drinking whatever it is that, that, that it blows out and it pops uh, and we decide not to um, not to eat or drink it again so um, <clears throat> for instance um, I'm just going to use an example of chocolate in this case so I want you to imagine if you um, like chocolate. So if it's a particular brand, I want you to see the, the paper of the brand <clears throat> and I want you to open the packet and half of the packet so you can see the chocolate. Now you'll probably know what your limit is so before you get satiated. So say it might be a bar of chocolate, it might be two bars or whatever. The important thing in this exercise in order to blow it out is we need to take it to a real degree where you become really put off it by being sick of it. Okay, <clears throat> so if you were to just imagine eating the chocolate and the chocolate being there and you're eating one, two pieces, three pieces, whatever else, um, and you, you just push yourself a little bit, it's hardly likely to blow out. So the secret is, is I'm going to show you some different ways of doing this. So um, so if we assume it's chocolate, <clears throat> what we want you to do, in, and if you're somebody that finishes a whole bar of chocolate and you feel full and sick afterwards, um, I want you to sort of imagine eating six bars of chocolate or whatever the point is for you. You'll, you'll know where the point is because you just it's that bit where you kind of force yourself to eat a bit more. Um, so what we do is we, we get the chocolate. So I want you to imagine, re and, and when you do this, I want you to really see what you're doing. So visually see what you're doing. Hear the rustle of the paper. And I want you to feel the texture as you bite into it, as you taste it and as you swallow it. Does that make sense? And what I want you to do, so when you break the first bar, you'll look at it, you'll hear the packet, you'll hear the thing and you put it to your lips, you'll taste the chocolate and you'll bite into it and there'll be, so just work out about the, the different parts of your mouth and your tongue and how you feel the texture and the taste and everything else and then swallow that. And I want you to continue eating slowly until you make yourself absolutely sick of it. And when you get to the point of you're absolutely sick of it, I just want you to eat a little bit more to the point where you're repulsed by it. And what it does, it actually blows out the actual behaviour in in in, uh, in the same way it would if you actually tried to do this in the real way, but it's a very safe way of doing it, obviously, because you're not eating the actual chocolate. So just to um, let you know what the the technique again again is. So imagine your favourite chocolate. Get it to the point where you get your levels where you're really excited by it. So you go, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm really craving this. I'm an eight, nine, ten out of ten craving, really buzzing. I can see the chocolate. I'm really ready to eat it. And then I want you to slowly imagine, if you were to borrow chocolate, eating four, five, six, but you'll know your limit, but definitely three, you know, would be something to do. So if you eat smash a bar of chocolate, I want you to do three at least, then four and try and push yourself to the point where you're physically just going, oh, I, don't, I don't like this anymore, I really don't like this anymore. So there's a technique, so you can either use this now if you want to give things up for Christmas, or obviously you can use it in the new year if you're wanting to give those things um, up after. So just another a cheeky little technique for you to use to help you, giving away loads of free stuff. Um, and if you're interested in becoming a client, obviously contact me on my website. If you're interested in becoming a hypnotherapist, there's two courses for the new year. One is an intensive three week course and the other one is a weekend course. You need to get yourself um, registered and get your uh, application forms filled in and the deposit soon. Um, so on the www.wsoh.co.uk, the Warwickshire School of Hypnotherapy site, if you look at HPD slash NLP, that's the hypnotherapy courses, if you want to be a hypnotherapist. 
great training, loads of people who've done the course, really, really enjoy it. We've got some fantastic students doing some great things um, with clients. So I love you, uh, love your thoughts, your feedback. So please like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye for now.